Uh, tonight we're seeing more of the devastating effect left behind in Acapulco where a direct hit from the monster hurricane Otis still being felt lots of damage. We know at least 27 people were killed. At least four are still missing. Hotels have been damaged. Debris is strewn across the beach. Some areas still have no power or water and tourists are stranded as well. Right now, Mexican authorities are trying to rush in emergency aid. It's the strongest hurricane on record to hit Mexico's Pacific Coast building from a tropical storm to a category five hurricane in less than 12 hours. Yeah, pretty powerful. CBS 13's Ashley Nanfrey is getting answers on what forecasters are hoping to learn from this storm. It's something that we've seen, but it's pretty rare. It doesn't happen very often. It was a storm that looked very different just a day before landfall as Hurricane Otis took aim at Mexico's resort town of Acapulco. It just happened so quickly. That 12 hour period between Monday evening and Tuesday morning, the system did a lot of developing and then it just continued uh, all the way up through landfall. Rapidly intensifying from a tropical storm to a category five hurricane in a very short window in the eastern Pacific. It's something we've seen before. It's pretty rare for a storm to strengthen this rapidly, but it, it has occurred a few times. Harvey, Ian and Ida, all examples of quickly growing hurricanes. But Otis did it just a bit faster. We define rapid strengthening as a about 35 mile per hour increase in wind speed over 24 hours. This one really uh, did about two or three times that amount in that 24 hour period. Above average sea surface temperatures and a low wind shear helped it grow in size. Once it had that structure over those warm waters, uh, then it rapidly strengthened uh, really almost all the way up to the time it made landfall. Now more work is being done to forecast the magnitude of these storms during a short time frame. Uh, just in the last maybe five to seven years, we've seen some progress in that area, uh, being able to forecast, uh, uh, you know, rapid strengthening. However, we still, I think, have a long ways to go, and I think that this case did uh, did uh, unfortunately illustrate that. Otis, hurricane number three this month to make landfall along Mexico's Pacific coast. But could there be more to come? He says later in the season, the better the chances. And oftentimes, the later uh, periods of the year in which we get more uh, land threats. Uh, early in the year, the waters usually aren't quite as warm, so most of those are, are tropical storm or maybe uh, low-end hurricane threats. With an average of 15 named storms and eight hurricanes a year, hurricane season in the eastern Pacific is still open until November 30th. This is the reason why we want folks to have those supplies already on hand so they can take these quick actions and be ready uh, You know, if there is a threat and that threat uh, ramps up quite quickly. Yeah, always so important. They can really take you off guard. Let's get